All right, guys, welcome to the video. You can see right in front of you here. Uh, we are here at Legoland Florida Resort. And uh, yeah, we were, um, our main thing we wanted to do here was to come ride the new uh, Masters of Flight, which is their new flying theater attraction that is in the Lego movie world, as you can see right here. So we're, uh, we're gonna, I don't think I've done a video here before, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and just give you a whole tour of the place. Show you uh, all the interesting things going on here. Uh, coaster Source is closed, however, which is their wooden coaster here. Uh, annual maintenance, that's okay. It's That's just the way things go sometimes. But um, anyways, pretty cool. And uh, we'll go around the park and uh, show you all the little things that we can show you. One of the first thing I want to show you here is the, um, the main little uh, carousel here in the middle. This is kind of like the center, central hub of the park this is like where you you kind of like you know pick your direction and you go either way uh it's kind of a long park you know you pick kind of there's like two different ways you can go and then you know it kind of goes stretches out and goes all over the um all over the park uh, all the way to the back towards the water park and then all the way towards the hub here which is the front um i did want to mention though they do have, uh, you guys can see this little shop all the way in the back. This is where you're the main front entrance. You would come this way and then uh, you would uh, run into the carousel here. And then you'd pick which direction you want to go. We're going to go to the right here though. And we're going to go through the Duplo land, I think is what it's called. And then we'll uh, we'll look at the Lego movie world first off. And then uh, talk about all that. So anyways, like I said, this would be probably a pretty full-fledged tour wanted to uh, make sure I made a good video for you guys here at Legoland Florida so let's uh, let's get started and we will uh, we will get going all right guys so the first little area here is the uh, Duplo Valley which is kind of like a fun little kids area they got kind of like the uh, kind of like your farm animals and um, it's kind of a fun little learning area for the kiddos but yeah they got all kinds of little like farm stuff going on here you can see they got like a little tractor ride over here, which is cool. I do like when uh, parks have good areas for the kiddos, but to be honest, um, this park is just, this whole park is perfect for the kiddos. So, uh, if you have some young kids that are really, especially if your young kids are really into Legos, uh, they'll probably really, really love this park. But um, anyways, just wanted to give you a little look at this. You can hear the country music, bluegrass going on. It's, Pretty good little vibe. Got a little train over here. So, anyways, they do have a little splash area over here too, which is cool. I do like the uh, I do like the little splash area for the kiddos. That's always a fun fun time. But uh, you can see in the background over there, we're gonna head over here towards the. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? But we're gonna uh, go to the Lego Movie World, and uh, yeah. So let's go check it out, and I'll give you guys a good little tour of the Lego Movie World, and we'll talk about Masters of Flight. All right, guys. So we're headed into the Lego Movie World now, and uh, like I said, this this land is actually really nicely detailed. And if you like the movie, you definitely would love this little area. Uh, you can see this big old uh, thing over here. I cannot think of her name or whatever. The little cat, but um, this is the Masters of Flight building. Uh, and the entrance is uh, right here behind this tree. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Unikitty, that's her, that's their name. <laughs> I couldn't remember. The Unikitty is the big cat, but um, the disco drop there, which is like a little uh, kind of like egg bucket thing. Um, you know, if you sit down and it goes up and drops. Uh, pretty cool little thing there. But yeah, this is like a really cool, you can see Benny's spaceship over here. I do like Benny. He's a pretty cool character. You can see Benny. Benny's kind of hanging out up there. He's doing his little thing up there. <laughs> Benny's, uh, Benny seems like he's pretty stoked. Anyways, pretty cool. But yeah, they've, um, if you guys have been to this park before they built this, uh, this used to be the uh, Legends of Chima. That's what this used to be. I'm going to walk over here real quick and make sure I show you all. But yeah, this used to be the Legends of Chima. If you remember this little tower right here, this used to be the uh, floating mountain they used to have here. Um, not anymore. It is the, uh, like I said, all, everything's part of the Lego movie world now. So, 
pretty cool, honestly. They they did they did a really good job on this, and everything's it looks like it's really well themed. And I'm sure if you're really a fan of the movie, uh, you actually really like it. So, pretty cool. But um, this that is called the Battle of Bricksburg, by the way, that little uh, river battle there. But uh, let's talk about Masters of Flight for a bit. Um, very soaring like I mean, if you like soaring, you would like this attraction. It is not up to par with soaring. Like, it's really not like, it's not in that class of, like, ride. It's not as that, it's just not as high of a, a value of a ride. Um, it was a ton of fun, though. I did enjoy it. Uh, it's not my favorite ride in the park, actually, but um, I did really enjoy it. If you like flying theater type attractions, you really would like this ride. It, it is a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we talked about that, but uh, yeah, that is the uh, this is the show building right here. So if you uh, if you really are interested in uh, riding this, it is worth uh, worth a visit here. I do I did enjoy riding it. So, anyways, I think Lego Movie World is really cool, but uh, we're gonna go move over into one of the more classic areas of the park, which is the uh, the old like Merlin Dragon area. Uh, that's a cool little area. So let's head over there, and um, yeah. We'll uh, keep checking out the park. Like I said, this is going to be a, a pretty full-fledged tour here at the park because of uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I've done a video, a good video here or not. Might have done something here in the past, but I don't think I have. So we're going to make sure I give you a good tour today. And uh, uh, as far as like info, as far as like cost and all that stuff, we'll get into all that at the end of the video. Uh, right now, I just want to give you guys a tour. So let's head over here into the little Merlin area. All right, guys. So this is the Lego Kingdoms uh, area. I call it a Merlin area. Merlin's all over the place in here, so that's why I called it that. But uh, anyways, this is uh, this is the Lego Kingdoms area. This is where the uh, Dragon Coaster is at. So if you're interested in riding the Dragon Coaster, make sure you head over to this area. It is like right next to the uh, Lego Movie World area. Uh, pretty standard little, uh, you know, kind of kiddie coaster, but uh, it is very fun they do have a lot of theming on it and uh i'm gonna walk over here and show you the little lift hill if i can but yeah this this little ride's pretty cool uh you actually it's actually the start of this ride is it like a dark ride so i shouldn't say it's like a standard kitty coaster anyways you can see like the little lift hill and stuff there pretty cool little ride um anyways i do enjoy a lot of lego figures in there and uh, they do a good job they do um, over here, they got like a little uh, kind of mini Himalaya, which is pretty cool. So let's walk in here into the shade so you can actually see it. You can see Merlin in the top there. But yeah, kind of just like a little, uh, little mini Himalaya here. Pretty cool. And then if you go over here towards the other side of the uh, Kingdoms area, uh, they actually have the little joust attraction, which I'll show you guys here in a second. All right, guys, so the last thing over here is the Royal Joust, which is uh, kind of a moose on the loose type attraction, if you know what that is. Uh, it's the little, like, kind of uh, single rail, little bouncy thing, but you're on, like, a horse getting ready to joust. I actually think those rides are, like, really fun for the kids, so... I do like that a lot, but um, other than that, they do have the little uh, kind of like Kingdom. What do they call it? Kingdom Comes. <laughs> it's like a uh, like a little play area over here. So I don't know why I said that Kingdom Comes. That's actually an ice cream establishment right there. <laughs> it, it, this is the uh, the the Forestman's Hideout. That's what this is. Kingdom Comes is a ice cream establishment next to the hideout. <laughs> so anyways we're gonna keep moving we're gonna go into the little uh like the egyptians themed area where the little pharaoh's adventure is and then we will uh keep moving so let's do it all right guys so we are headed into the land of adventure so um over here to the right side here i can't think of the name of it it's something to do with the pharaoh but uh we're, i'm gonna go i'll go get it here in a second as we get closer uh, this is like a Sally Dark Ride shooter, I believe. So, pretty darn fun. I, I do enjoy little shooter rides. They are 
they are a good time sometimes. So let's run over here real quick and just get the name of this this little shooter. The Lost Kingdom Adventure is what it's called. Ain't got nothing to do with pharaohs. So the Lost Kingdom Adventure, a little fun little shooter ride. Uh, they do have little frog hoppers here, which is fun. Uh, called the Beetle Bounce. I like that. Keep moving down this way. Um, one common thing that you do see at this park a lot is the uh, you do see a lot of uh, Lego figures out throughout the park. So they definitely have um, they keep up with their theming here. There's a little play area called Pharaoh's Revenge. Maybe that's what I was getting confused on. But um, you can see they got little Lego figures like this. They got these like spread through all throughout the park. So. Anyways, you can see this wooden coaster over here. This is Coastersaurus. I'll uh, go over towards the entrance and talk a little bit more about it. I haven't actually rode it myself. My dad has rode it. Um, I was going to ride it today, but it's closed for annual maintenance, so we can't do it. But that's okay. And um, I'm going to walk to the entrance, talk a little bit more about it, though. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Before we get over to Coastersaurus, I did want to mention they do have a fun little safari ride for the kids here. You can see it kind of uh, rides on a little rail there and you go around and you can look at like little Lego uh, animal figurines, which is fun. You can see a little lion there. But yeah, I think there's also a little zebra right there. So I just wanted to mention that. I do think it's pretty cool for the kiddos. So let's keep going over here. We'll talk about Coastersaurus. All right, as you guys can see here, this is the entrance to Coastersaurus. Like I said, it is closed for annual maintenance. Kind of a bum, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like a really cool coaster. Uh, definitely a kitty coaster. I believe it's a GCI. Uh, they do have Millennium Flyers on this, so I'm going to assume that's what this coaster is. So pretty darn cool, but uh, not open today, so I can't really comment on it, but I know my, my dad said it was a good ride, so pretty cool. Anyways, just wanted to make sure I showed you the entrance of it. Uh, that is that is as we keep moving here if i can find a park map which i see one right across here let's take a look at it and i'll show you i'll give you a better idea of like which way we're headed so that way you guys can maybe understand a little bit better so let's go to this map and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about all right guys so we are over here at this map now i wanted to point out a few things you can see right here is the entrance to the park we kind of made our way up you remember the carousel i showed you all what we did is we took a right so we went down this path I showed you guys the Lego Movie World, which is right here. This is the Lego Movie World. We walked up, went through the kingdoms, which is the dragon and everything. So we did that. And then we walked up here and went through the little adventure, land of adventure. Uh, Coaster Source is right here. And the next thing we're going to go do is uh, the Lego Ninjago area, which is fun. And then we're going to circle up here, go up all the way up here to all the like the driving school and the boating school, uh, and then the flying school, which are all all three of them are right here. And then uh, right here is the water park. We won't go in there. They do actually, that's an extra admission ticket to go in there. But uh, we're going to circle around back down. And we'll come down and I'll show you guys the little um, the little Technic Coaster, which is now the uh, the great Lego Race VR Coaster, which is cool. We'll talk about that a little bit. But before that, we'll probably go over here and go into Cypress Gardens because I do want to show you guys the banyan tree and stuff because uh, Cypress Gardens is cool. And I'm, I commend Legoland for keeping that around like they have. But uh, yeah, so we're going to do all that and then we'll come back down, circle around, and we'll be back at the carousel. And that'll probably be the end of the video. So anyways, just wanted to give you a small little idea there what we're going to do. And uh, showing you visually kind of gives you a little bit better of an idea, I think. So let's go over here. We're going to go into the Lego Ninjago area and we'll talk about the Lego Ninjago ride. All right, guys. So this is the Lego Ninjago area. You can see they got this really cool little dragon figure here, but uh, this area is actually really neat. Um, they do have a lot of uh, a lot of interactivity going on here, and you can see they got like a really cool little model. I have I know nothing about Lego Ninjago, so don't get mad at me if I say anything silly. But uh, yeah, they do. Uh, they got all kinds of little interactive stuff here, which is fun. I do think uh, interactivity is fun for the kids. Uh, one thing I want to mention here that they do have a lot of is. And the actual queue lines themselves, if it's a busy day, uh, they actually have like little things like for kids to build Legos and stuff while the parents actually wait in the queue, which I do think is fun because it keeps it keeps the kids out of the queue and keeps them entertained. That way the kids aren't getting antsy and 
bouncing off the gates and all that stuff so i do think that's cool but yeah this area has got a lot of interactivity like you got over here you uh you you're supposed to press the star button there which is the little white button and then you got to hit the colored buttons uh which everyone's light up and you try to do it the fastest you can they call it the lightning drill so that's pretty fun but uh back here is the actual uh ride itself um really great ride actually uh it's kind of a it's a shooter but it, you don't have a gun or anything you actually it, it uses sensors and infrared cameras to actually detect your karate chops so you do like a karate chop motion around your chest and um it actually works pretty good so um I, it, it works good when you figure it out i'll put it that way if you it's kind of hard to figure out i still haven't quite figured it out myself um, I kind of start figuring out towards the end of the ride, so I think we're gonna probably give this another ride today. But um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of weird. Like I said, you, you sit in the car, and then you kind of karate chop, like at your chest height, and then uh, it'll it'll trigger that from the cameras, and then it'll translate that to the screen, which then you know throws your fireballs or whatever you're throwing. So. Anyways, it's a really fun interactive ride, and if you like shooters, I think you would like it. But I think there is a learning curve to it. I will say that for sure. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But uh, anyways, different different ride. I like the uh, I like the uniqueness of it, and like I said, I think the queue is really cool too, where you can kind of uh, the kids can build Legos if it's a crowded day. Instead of waiting in the queue, they can kind of build Legos for a little while, and then they can move on. But anyways really cool little area and like i said the ride's very unique with the whole chopping aspect it's it's definitely better it's the most unique shooter i've ever been on and it is i, I would consider it a dark ride shooter but it's uh it's just a one-of-a-kind thing from what i've seen so i do like it uh the learning curve though i do i do think there's a bit of a learning curve there anyways we're gonna head back out of here and uh, probably go down into the driving school area hello so if you guys uh, want to stay tuned for that, we'll go, uh, go over all the schools. They got a lot of schools here. I think they got the fire department, the boating, the driving, and the flying school. They, they got all kinds of stuff. So let's go check those out and we will uh, continue the tour. All right guys, as we're headed down into the little schools area, I did want to show you, this is a good little overview of the boating school here. You can see we got a little traffic jam going on. <laughs> they are not uh they're not cooperating with each other. But anyways, it is a fun little thing though. I do think it's cool. A little boating school for the kiddos there. Uh, of course I think the driving school is one of the cooler things you can do. So let's keep walking and we'll show you all that. Alright guys, so over here on the right, this is the entrance to the boating school. So you can see all that over there. That is where we were looking uh, you know, I gave you the overview. Um, as we keep going over here though, they do have the little firefighters area, which is fun. Um, they do, this whole area is dedicated to, uh, kind of the uh, schools. Like this is the fire academy, which is, like I said, uh, it's kind of a cool little thing. But, um, it's kind of busy over here, so I'm going to walk over here and show you how this works. But yeah, this is the rescue academy. This side is actually closed. It gives me a good, good point to show you how it works. Anyways, you get a, everybody gets in the little fire trucks here, and then uh, you do have to actually like I think you have to like wind it up or whatever to actually get it to go. So like you can't actually win, and, you know, like it's like a kind of a competition. And then once you get to the end here, uh, you, I think you actually have to get out and, and do your little pumps so that way they can spray the water and put out the flames. Which I don't think there's actually flames, but you got to put out the you know the, the flames or whatever and then you got to get back in the truck and then it's like a little competition and um it's actually pretty fun uh they are uh, open on the other side let me see if i can get some footage of it running because i do think it's worth showing but i just wanted to kind of explain it to you all and we will uh give you a look at how it works all right guys so we're over here now i'm gonna give you a little example of what i'm talking about you can see how they've, they've got to do their little little pumping. So they got to get out of their trucks now and run over here. And they got to pump. Oh, 
<laughs> it's actually really cool. It's a it's a cool little thing. And then they go back to the trucks and then they have to pump their way back to the trucks. Go! Ha, 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 ha. Anyways, I think that's cool. I, I, I enjoy that. I think that's a cool little experience and uh, it's definitely little stuff like that really means a lot to the kiddos. It really does. Anyways, let's walk over here and we'll talk about the driving school a little bit. So out here in front of the driving school, they actually have this really cool Lego Mustang, which is all built out of Legos. It's really, really neat. I do like it. And they have the um, they have a little driving school here. So I'm going to walk around the edge here and kind of show you what that looks like. Uh, they do have the little kind of mini driving school, which is over here to the right. Uh, if you guys have ever watched any of my videos, I've showed plenty of these driving schools off. I think Legoland's is one of the better ones, though. But uh, you can see the little, the little carts over here. That is the little baby track. Uh, and uh, this is the more intermediate one over here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anybody running right now. Um, actually, yeah, they might be. Yeah, there's, there's a few things going. But anyways, you get in these little kind of go-kart things. And uh, you get your driver's license and stuff. You drive around and you, it's pretty cool. Like you see those little stop signs and you got to follow the rules. You can see a little roundabout over there and... Anyways, I've showed you plenty of these on my channel. I just wanted to make sure. I think this is one of the cooler ones. Uh, they do a really good job here. So, you guys can see that little blue coaster up there in the background. That's flying school. We're going to go up and talk about that. Nothing really good to say about it, but we're going to go talk about it nonetheless. And then I'll show you where the entrance of the water park is. All right, guys. So, you can see the uh, little flying school here. Standard Vacoma family suspended coaster uh, this one hasn't been taken very well care of honestly it's actually pretty rough um, but other than that I mean it's it's a family suspended coaster what else you know uh, I'm glad this was open today so I do like the little theming here you know they got a little hanger and stuff like that uh, they just need to I think they they need to buy the they need to get the little second generation trains and I think that would fix this coaster just fine but um, I'm gonna walk over here real quick and I'll show you all the uh, entrance to the water park. Like I said, the water park is an extra fee and um, can't go into it. So, but I, I, can't, I can't go into this little area and show you. <laughs> Gotta be careful though, they're spraying water. You can see the little mermaid there. But um, anyways, pretty cool little area. Um, I think the... Uh, the water park still has its legend of Chima uh, Lazy River or something like that. They have little legends of Chima something. can't remember what it is exactly. But uh, I'm just going to walk over here and kind of show you uh, the little water park. Looks like they got a little map of it here. Maybe give you an idea what they have in the water park here. So you can see that we're, uh, we're kind of like down in this little circle. You remember the mermaid I just showed you. So not too big of a water park. Looks like they got a wave pool, a couple slides. A little splash bucket area, a couple more slides. So, anyways, locker prices are actually pretty decent here compared to some places we've been. Shoof, some lockers are like $25 for a large locker. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is an extra mission. You can't just go in. So, I don't want to just uh, try to walk over and film. But you can see the entrance to it there. And uh, you can see like all the little Lego pieces and stuff in the water. Let me try to zoom in. That's pretty cool. I do like that. That's actually really neat. Pretty cool little. Uh, you can see the little uh, little Lego on the uh, actual tubes themselves. So I like that. I think that's a cool little thing for the little lazy river there. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys the uh, water park entrance, and that's where you go in at if you're interested in going to the water park. Like I said, it is an upcharge, though. It is not included with your admission to Legoland. So let's head back. We're going to go all the way back through the driving school area, and then I want to show you guys a little Albert Einstein uh, Lego figure. Um, and then we're probably going to go over into Cypress Gardens because that's definitely worth a visit. I want to show you all the banyan tree. 
um, just the gardens in general. It's like I said, I commend Legoland and Merlin for keeping the uh, keeping the little uh, little gardens open and not tearing them down or anything. Because that banyan tree is a treasure and should be taken care of. Anyways, I'm walking way around because of the splash. I don't want to get my camera wet. But um, anyways, let's head back down and I'll show you guys Cypress Gardens. All right, guys, just want to give you a little view of the little uh, Einstein uh, here. I do think the little figures are cool. You can see they got little giraffes on either side too, which is really neat. But uh, yeah, I like the I like these little figures like this. Uh, you are you guys already know too that they do have um, you know that they have the uh, mini land here, which mini land is a lot of fun. But um, we're going to uh, get into that in a little bit. I'm going to show you a few highlights of mini land. But uh, I just wanted to show you back here. I think they do have like a little uh, like a little imagination playset thing back here so you can come back here and like build things and stuff i don't think it's probably open today but um i did want to mention that so uh, like i said we're gonna head over to cypress gardens though i want to go do that and then we'll talk about the uh, great vr coaster and then we will also uh talk about the um i can't remember what they call it, the little wave runners here or whatever those are a lot of fun i do see people walking around in there though so it must be open today Anyways, like I said, I want to go show you all Cypress Gardens, and then we will uh, head over to the coaster and talk about that as well. All right, guys, so we are here at the entrance of Cypress Gardens. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Cypress Gardens is here because this actually used to be the original location for Cypress Gardens. This whole park used to be Cypress Gardens. Uh, Legoland just came in and, you know, kind of took over, but they did keep a lot of the important stuff, such as the banyan tree and stuff, so... Highly commend them for that. So we're going to head in here, here and uh, check out the gardens. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful location. Um, like I said, I'm just really glad that the uh, I'm really glad that they've taken care of it because it it's an important part of the history here. And you know, one thing I do want to say, they always usually have high water levels. So usually, like this path here is always blocked. I've uh, I've never actually went down this path, so just wanted to mention that. But uh, yeah, these gardens are actually just breathtakingly gorgeous. Um, they've they've taken really good care. Uh, like I said, this is a bot botanical gardens. So, um, anyways, the banyan tree is the highlight, though. I'm gonna make sure I show you guys a good look at the banyan tree. But um, anyways, we're gonna walk back in through here and uh, yeah, check out some of the uh, park's namesake. Like I said, this this whole park used to be Cypress Gardens before it uh, switched over to Legoland. So. Let's uh, take a look at uh, a little chunk of history there. All right, guys, so we are back here um, by the banyan tree now. This tree is just absolutely stunning. Like, I, every time I come back here to look at it, I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know. I just, there's something about this tree, you guys. Like, uh, you can just see how it grows. Like, you can see it kind of all sprouts from the middle. But then you see, like, these little supports here. Like, it supports itself as it as the branches spread way out because the branches go way out there from the center of the tree i don't know just a gorgeous tree 
absolute landmark and like I said I commend uh, Merlin and them for keeping up with it it uh it's definitely a commendable act for sure uh, you guys seen the beautiful walkway that we were walking to get back here so the whole place is beautiful but the uh, the banyan tree is definitely the main attraction and uh, I love looking at it every time we come absolutely stunning like I said it's just something you don't see every day um, I'm not sure how many trees like this exist but uh, this one's been preserved and just awesome the fact that we can sit here and walk underneath of it like this is just an awesome thing so freaking cool y'all Like I said, uh, you can just see how like the, when the branches grow out, they just they they go back down towards the ground so they can support themselves, which is it's just a wild way to show how nature's supporting itself. So I'm gonna go back over here. I want to show you guys a little bit more of an overview again of the tree. Uh, like I said, I don't want to spend all video here, but it definitely could merit its own video to be honest, especially if you're into gardens and I love my flowers and stuff. So. Anyways, you can just see how massive this tree is. Absolutely massive. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to make sure I showed you all the banyan tree here. And um, we're going to start heading back towards the, uh, the entrance of the park. I just wanted to give you a little bit more of a view here. And we'll, uh, we'll get back to talking about Legoland. All right, guys. So I did want to. Uh, we did get out of. Uh, you can see the Cypress Garden sign over there. Uh, I did want to show you the uh, Battle for Brickbeard's Bounty. Uh, they do have different show times throughout the day. So if you're interested in that, I'll give you a little bit better overview of the show uh, and uh, the little stadium here in a second. So I just want to show you. This is the entrance to it, though. So let's walk over here, and I'll give you a little bit better view. Show you what uh, what kind of a. Uh, Okay, give you an overview of what the show does. All right, guys. So we are up on the a little bit further up the hill here. Uh, you can see the little pirate ship there, and this is the little stadium that uh, I was showing you the back entrance to. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little Lego show, and they do like water skiing and a little fun stuff like that. It's a really cool little water show. We watched it once, uh, one time when we first came here. But you can see the little ramps and stuff. Yeah, they do a fun little water show, a little water ski show and stuff. So, pretty cool little show. If you're into that, um, make sure you check it out. They do have uh, three show times throughout the day. So, uh, I believe they do have one extra show. I think they have a fourth show time if you're coming here on Saturday or Sunday. But uh, it says uh, we're actually here on a uh, Tuesday, and uh, it's only 10 to 5 today, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, lower capacity today. On all their shows and rides but um anyways just wanted to make sure i mentioned that so uh, we're gonna go up here and talk about the vr coaster and then uh we'll probably be moving on after we get done with this area all right guys so after we uh got up the hill here we are back up and you can see the vr coaster it's kind of hard to show it but if you want to do vr you got to sit in the back row i don't know if you can see no, nope, they're just riding in regular style. Let me see if I can get somebody that's actually doing the VR here. Looks like they're doing the VR. You can see their little headsets there. There we go, that's a good shot. Uh, I believe this is actually my dad and I's favorite uh, 
favorite ride in the park. Uh, the VR actually improved it, and uh, it's really cool. Hello. But um. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure I showed you all. Uh, this is a really awesome thing, and uh, definitely prove the Technic coaster. If you've ever been here before and rode the Technic coaster, uh, don't be afraid to come back and ride the. Uh, it's called the Great Lego Race VR coaster. It actually improved the coaster, and uh, they did a really good job. Um, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I'm not a huge, huge VR person, but uh, they did a fantastic job on this one. So, anyways, guys. Just wanted to make sure I showed you all the uh, the little VR coaster. It is really cool. Um, before we leave the little Technics area, though, I wanted to show you the little Wave Runner scooter things. I don't know what you call them. Uh, I think every Legoland park has one. I've seen them in different parks, too, like Adventureland and uh, up in uh, Long Island. They have one. So, if you guys, you guys have probably seen these. You can see the little water cannons going off there. But uh, you, you know, you, uh, you get in the little scooter here and you just kind of stand up and they, they go in a circle and spin around and stuff. I don't think these are actually open today except for uh, the ones on the other side. Yeah, the ones on the other side are open. Okay. So, I just wanted to uh, show you guys this, um, this one here. So, but they are open. It's just this, uh, this side's closed. They do have the other side open though. So, pretty cool. Just wanted to make sure I showed you all that. But yeah, this is the Technics area. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend checking out the uh, the Great Lego VR race. Or the, the Great Lego race VR coaster. That's what it's called. Got some uh, Haggard syndrome going on with the long name there. But um, anyways, really cool. I recommend y'all check it out. So, favorite part, that's, uh, that's our favorite ride in the park. But um, anyways, we're gonna go down into mini land uh, to be honest, Miniland deserves its own video all by itself, just how awesome it is. But uh, I just want to show you some of the highlights, and then uh, we'll uh, probably call it a video because that's honestly about it. So, anyways, let's keep uh, going and we'll check out some Miniland stuff. Alright guys, as we're heading into, uh, you can see Miniland over in the background over there. I just want to show you, they are doing their uh, Bricktacular, uh, which is the... Um, the little brick or treat thing or whatever you call it. I didn't mean to say Bricktacular. It's Brick or Treat, which is their Halloween event here. I don't believe they do it on Saturdays and Sundays. So, um, anyways, you can see they got the little pumpkin patch out here, which is really cool. Sticking with the Lego theme, of course, as always. Anyways, um, other than that, we're going to head into Miniland. I, do, I might go ahead and show you this waterfall over here. This waterfall is pretty cool. I just wanted to make sure I told you... Uh, the little brick or treat decorations they are they are ready for it but uh let's keep walking over here and i'll show you guys this little waterfall this waterfall is pretty cool and then we'll get into mini land like i said um i'm not going to show you all of mini land um it's a little bit too expensive to show you every little detail i just want to show you some of the highlights and then uh we'll probably call it a video All right, guys. So one of the cooler lands in here, uh, one of the cooler areas here in Miniland USA, is uh, the Vegas here. You can see they got all kinds of stuff. Pretty darn freaking cool. So they have the little uh, Treasure Island over here, and the Mirage, and it's like little things like this. Um, they do have little interactive things like throughout the whole land, which is really cool. Like you can see the little, uh, you know, the little cannons usually go off at the Mirage. If you press this button right here, it'll actually start a little show. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, guys. I think it's, I think the little interactive stuff like that's cool. And you can hear the guys holler and they're all celebrating winning some jackpots. You can see New York, New York, and got the MGM Grand over here. A little uh, Tropicana. Like Excalibur. And then they have the Luxor, which is actually where we usually stay at if we go to Vegas, which is cool. 
Anyways, let's take a look at some of the NASA stuff they got over here. All right, guys. So where this is all like the NASA stuff. If you look in there, you can actually see the little, uh, the little like gravity tester, the G forces spinning thing there, which is cool. You got the, uh, you know, you can see the vehicle assembly building there, the rockets and the space shuttle. And uh, over at the very end over there, you can actually see the, uh, they actually have a little launch pad with the space shuttle launch, which is really cool. Anyway, it's pretty darn neat. I like this little area. It's pretty cool. Over here, they got a little Panama City Beach, and uh, they actually have the Orlando Eye here, which is cool. You can see they got Madame Tussauds or Madame Tussauds. I'm not sure how you say that, but, uh, and they got Sea Life. But, yeah, they got the Orlando Eye here, which is cool. Looks like they actually have uh, Castillo de San Marcos. I believe that's the fort they're trying to replicate there, which is really cool. I like stuff like that. Anyway, I just think Miniland is so cool. Um, over here is actually one of my favorite little areas which is the uh, Washington DC area, which is just excellent. Uh, they really did uh, a good job. You can see they got the Iwo Jima Memorial right here in the little tour bus. Uh, the little tour bus actually does go around and make different stops. I believe it may, it stops here and then it also stops over uh, right here next to the Lincoln Memorial. But um, it's pretty cool. I might get a little footage of that running here in a second. But anyways, yeah, you can see they got the Iwo Jima Memorial, the, Tom, uh, the Jefferson Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, uh, the Reflection Pond there, and you also have, uh, I'm going to zoom in on it, uh, you can see they got the little, um, the little World War II Memorial, which is awesome, because I think it's a little bit of underrated memorial as far as, you just don't hear it talked about enough, I don't think. Um, then they got the Washington Monument, you can see Capitol Hill over there. So, anyway, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I like, I like these little, like, it's kind of a little trackless system, these little buses kind of drive around a little bit, and it's really cool so I might get some of that on footage and then we'll uh, we'll keep moving a little San Francisco action for you guys over here got a little bit of a uh, New York City action here for you guys Super cool. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of uh, Legoland. Is this the mini land all together is just awesome. See the little ferry in the water there. Like if I zoom in on the ferry, you can just see all the little details and stuff. They they really do a lot of uh, a lot of hard work here. It's just really cool. All right, guys. So you can see the uh, little amphitheater and the Chinese theater here, and you have the Griffith Observatory with the uh, Lego wood there, which is cool. I think that's pretty fun there. But uh, they do have a whole area of the Mini Land dedicated to Star Wars. So let's take a look at that, and I'll show you a few of the uh, highlights of that. You can see. Uh, Right over here towards the entrance, they actually do have a little Ray statue. They actually have multiple Ray statues, I believe. I know there's at least one more in the gift shop. So that's pretty cool. Now, like I told you guys in my little bit two tour, I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan, so I don't know too much about uh, some of the stuff that happens. But uh, like you, I know like you can see R2-D2 and C-3PO up there. <laughs> that's cool right there. I like that a lot. Anyways, they did a really good job here. Of course, they got little buttons here too that you just press and you can, you know. Pretty cool. But there's all kinds of little stuff. Like y'all can see the, uh, the Millennium Falcon just lowered down there. So super cool <laughs> I got the little cantina over there pretty darn cool guys 
Got a little AT-ATs over here too. Oh. <laughs> Knocking them down. Got a little Darth Vader and R2 made out of Legos over here, which is really fun. Anyways, guys, just a really cool little uh, cool little thing. I'm sure if you're a Star Wars fan, you'd know much more than I would. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a little look here. Oh, you can see Kylo coming out there. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. You can see a little uh, TIE fighter going around in a circle up there, too. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. We're going to head back down. I'm going to show you the little pirates. Um, I was going to show you that little tour bus moving around. I do like that. But we're going to uh, look at the pirates, and then that'll probably be about it. So let's uh, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys. Last little thing I want to show you in Miniland. Uh, little pirate ships here, which is cool. They, uh, they kind of fighting each other. <laughs> I do like this little area. I think it's cool. These, uh, these little ships I actually used to, like, uh, actually used to spin around uh, on their little uh, tracks but they uh, they don't seem to do it anymore they're just kind of planted now but um, yeah I like this I think this is cool you can see they're like also fighting the uh, they're fighting the little fort over there anyways pretty cool I like it One thing I want to say too, like if you're uh, if you're coming here to the park, uh, you can really get everybody wet. Uh, they got all kinds of little traps. Uh, you can see this little button right here. If I press this button, I'm gonna back up, but they're gonna like they'll actually uh, they'll squirt some water at you. <laughs> Let me get on the other side here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that too well, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, like I said, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I know many. I'm gonna give you a little overview here, but I know Mini Land. Mini Land could use its own separate video altogether, so I'm not really doing it doing it all justice. There's so many little details that you can just di dive right into as far as Mini Land goes. But um, if you're really into Legos. Mini Land is honestly worth the visit by itself. It's just a really cool thing, and I do highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, let's move on, and uh, might have a couple more things to show you, and then we'll be at the outro. All right, guys, as we're walking out of um, Mini Land, I did want to show Daytona over here. They do have the Daytona track, so pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see all the uh, the fans in the stands over here. You can just see how much detail work they put into all this stuff. It really is fantastic. So, anyways, just wanted to show you Daytona. Alright guys, as we're heading out of Miniland, uh, they do have a disco over here, which is pretty cool. Just your standard, like, half-pipe disco. So, just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. But um, I think the only other thing I want to show you all is the little theater. And then uh, probably be at the outro. Alright guys, so right before we get to the carousel, uh, they do have the Funtown Theater, which hosts the uh, Lego Movie 4D, A New Adventure. Uh, the Ninjago 4D Adventure, that the Masters of uh, Ninjago or whatever you call that. Um, and then they have the City 4D so um, those are three different shows and they show them all throughout the day different times so uh, if you're interested in seeing some 4d shows make sure you come check out the fun town theater but uh, as i zoom out here uh, you can see right in front of us here we are right back um, into the uh, carousel area which is the front of the park and uh yeah so let's uh, i'm gonna find a good place and do the outro and then we will uh call it a video because i do think i showed you everything 
All right, guys. I think that is going to do it here from Legoland, Florida. Showed you pretty much everything. Got a few things I want to talk about, though. Um, the admission price, I think, is a little high here. Uh, if you come to the gate, the gate admission is $100 per person. So uh, keep that in mind if you're coming here to the park. Uh, you might be able to get a better deal online, but we don't quite have a printer and stuff. So, uh, you know, some parks let you do stuff on your phone. Some don't. So uh, we ended up just doing gate admission. So parking was $23 and gate admission was $100 a piece. So uh, not a cheap day here at Legoland, but I do think it was worth it. Uh, we wanted to ride Masters of Flight, which was the main reason we came here. And uh, we achieved that goal. So can't complain about that. Uh, Miniland is worth it, though. Uh, I love Miniland just by itself. And the, uh, the, great, v, uh, the great Lego Race VR coaster was pretty fantastic. Uh, we really enjoyed that as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a good day here. It was worth it. I uh, would not come here very often. Um, you know, their, their annual pass is here pretty decent. If I lived down here in Florida, I would probably pick up an annual pass. But um, as far as, like, regular day admission, uh, you know, a one-day ticket I think is a little expensive. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Um, that is just my opinion. Some people might think 100 bucks is fine. I don't think that it should be $100 when you had, can go down the road for $100 and you know go to Universal or Disney so just wanted to make sure I mentioned that regardless though that is going to do it here from Legoland Florida I really hope you enjoyed and as always you can follow me on my Instagram at daily theme park photos you can also follow me on Twitter at Corey Mathery same as my YouTube channel name and you can also follow me on TikTok at Corey says yo if you're so inclined Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, just leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll try to get back with you guys as soon as I can. But um, other than that, uh, I think that is going to do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I was able to give you a full park tour of the Legoland Florida Resort. Anyways, take care, guys. Have a fantastic day.